Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. My name is David A. Kwan and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're a brand new visitor to my YouTube channel and have no idea what my videos are all about, I love talking about things I'm passionate about, man. Movies, comic books, video games. I do hauls, reviews, unboxings. If that's the type of thing you're into, you may want to check out my other content. And if you like what you see, do subscribe. If you like what you see here and want to learn more about me, I got a Twitter. I got an Instagram. If you like video game related stuff, I also got a Twitch. Same username, all the route, David A. Qua. Okay, so we all know, no time to die. New James Bond movie starring Daniel Craig is coming out this year, 2020. And I figure, why not? Let's take a look at some... Not the previous James Bond movies, because we've already done that. <clears throat> Let's talk about James Bond video games that I own. Okay? And we're doing this alive. This is a live stream. We got Steve Durbin, Daniel Garcia, Multi Gunman, Carnage Ghost, Earth Knight, NKG World, Flick Sides here. Who else? I guess that's it. <laughs> There's a couple other people here. Just say hi. OMG, Tomorrow Never Dies. I love that game. I totally forgot about it. Yeah. Okay, let's, get, let's go through the collection. This one I got, this collector's edition, it comes in this box. Okay, it comes in this box. It has 007 Racing, Medal of Honor. It's like the EA collection or something like that. Okay. <clears throat> so Tomorrow Never Dies. This is third-person shooter. The controls are really wonky, but there's like, uh, it's pretty good music in it. Okay, pretty good gameplay. I really enjoyed it. Jonathan, hey, don't forget me. <laughs> and Wrestling Snowman's here. Hey, David, when is the PS4 collection video going to be made? Well, that's going to take a while for me to round up. It's just harder to, to set up. <clears throat> I also have here, the world is not enough. This game's pretty good. It goes back to its first-person shooter roots, right? And uh, the missions are really short, but uh, music's good. Gameplay's good. There's actually a mission on here. You can continue to play Blackjack. That's like how, like how I learned how to play Blackjack was through this video game. In the video game, they teach you how to teach... Uh, they teach how to play Blackjack, and then you play it. It's like part, part of the mission to like uh, win a certain amount of money or something like that, right? So, yeah. That's how I learned how to play blackjack was through that game. I was probably like like 10 years old or something at the time. I'm doing good, enjoying the new year so far. Cool wrestling snowman. Delo 7 Racing. Oh my gosh. Never finished this game. I think I only beat like two missions. It's just some of the missions are just completely impossible, man. Like they want you to make this jump, destroy this, fight the tank, get from A to B in like a certain amount of time and stuff like that. I hate timed missions. Finish the mission, drive your car through all these curves and make these perfect jumps and stuff like that. And if you don't do it, you start the mission from the very beginning. Very annoying. But uh, yeah, 007 Racing, there it is. It was part of the collector's edition thingy. Nightfire never played. Got it for $1, how about that? <laughs> Pretty good deal, huh? To this set for PC. Looks like pretty good graphics. I believe they have this for PS2 also. You can play on PS2 and Xbox. Nightfire is amazing, says Earth Knight. I never played it. <clears throat> Age Under Fire. Uh, I think I got through like half the game. And I just stopped playing. Because at the time I got the PS3 already. Pretty good game. A lot of variety of weapons. I like the cutscenes in it too. Lots of action. Daniel Garcia. How are you, Wrestling Snowman? Hmm. Everything or nothing. I haven't played this at all. Wait, I have. I live streamed this for you guys, didn't I? <laughs> That's how forgettable that was. Remember that mission we were falling down? There was one mission we were falling down a cliff and we were trying to catch this girl, right? And it, it took me like 20 tries just to do it. Oh my gosh. Earth Knight, I love Age Under Fire and Night Fire on GameCube. Yeah. They were available on GameCube too. So yeah, I live streamed this, this for you guys. And there was one mission that was a complete nightmare. I had no idea what I was doing. He was like falling down a cliff. And he keeps falling. Like the girl was, was knocking into like the wall and going through bridges. And 
and and I like I, I touch a, a a branch on the on, of a tree or something, and I died. <laughs> Goldeneye Rogue Agent. Now, everyone knows Goldeneye, like different versions of Goldeneye, as you can see, including Nintendo 64 one, which I never played. Um, they thought, hey, let's, let's mix it up a little bit. You play as the villain in Goldeneye. And you interact with, like, like Goldfinger or something like that? Oh, Dr. No. What's your favorite band? My one is Green Day. Oh, Green Day is coming to uh, Houston. Houston's having a, uh, they're going to be at a concert at the, at the, is it Minute Maid Stadium? Or the Toyota Center? There's going to be, Green Day's coming to Houston, Texas. They're going to have a concert here. But uh, I'm probably not going. Okay, From Russia With Love, starring Sean Connery as James Bond. Yeah, he comes back. And uh, actually, From Russia With Love is actually one of the first James Bond movies from the older years that I watched, okay, and really enjoyed. Before then, I only saw the Pierce Brosnan movies, and I was like, you know what, let's check out all the other, uh, uh, all the other James Bond movies before Pierce Brosnan, and like, Russia With Love was like the first one I saw. <clears throat> My real name is Nettie, Ned, huh? David, do you know Adam West was offered to play James Bond, but he had to turn it down because he was doing the Batman show? Oh, really? You know what? I can see Adam West as James Bond. Yeah. I watched the old uh, Batman television series. He's a good looking guy, you know? I can definitely see him as uh, James Bond. I also have here the 007 Scene It game. Now you gotta use like a, a regular Scene It board or whatever. This is like an add on. But uh, yeah. Uh, it's there, still in plastic. Okay, Goldeneye here, the original Goldeneye on the Wii. Well, the like the 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 newer version. Okay, not the N sixty four version. But here we got Goldeneye 007 for the Wii. And if you're like, hey, I don't have a Wii. I want to play with a controller, like regular controller with remastered graphics and stuff. This is the same game right here, Goldeneye Reloaded. Okay. I really enjoyed this game, man. This is good. It runs very smoothly, let's just say that. 007 Legends. I live streamed this for you guys. And uh, it wasn't too bad. There's a couple parts that I'm like, where are all these enemies coming from? Like, I don't understand. They're just popping out of the ground, falling down from the sky. There's tons of enemies in 007 Legends. And it's just ridiculous sometimes how, how many enemies you're, you're fighting. But the game's fun. It's challenging because of that, too. There's a couple of missions where I'm like completely lost. I'm trying to, you know, you, you can turn your uh, your cell phone into like a scanner thing, and you have to follow the the electricity on, along the walls and stuff, and find out where the switch is and stuff. There's some really annoying annoying missions. What's your favorite baseball players? I don't really have one. Babe Ruth, I guess. Like I don't really watch modern day, the uh, you know today's baseball games. I know the Astros are pretty big where I live. When I was back in uh, Kansas, the Royals were big. Like, everyone follows them. But uh, since then, I just don't... I, I don't really follow baseball. On the Geek, Steve, you're watching Nasty Most Filthiest Videos on YouTube, bro. Too young for you. <laughs> in my opinion, Quantum Solid is better on PS2. It is? Yeah. This game is a mix of first-person shooter... And third person covering combat. This game's not too bad. Daniel Craig and all that have a. Uh, oh, what the? Oh, I got two discs. <laughs> yeah. I bought it once before by itself with no box. And I was like, you know, I want a box. <laughs> so I bought it again for like half the price I did, which is just disc, disc alone. So I think I bought the disc alone for like 10 bucks. And then later on, it was like $4.99 for the game with the box. Years later. Hey, David, my favorite video you made is your 2016 Marvel movie collection. I'm into Marvel and collecting. Cool. Bloodstone. Original storyline. Third-person combat. Shooting game. You can take cover and stuff like that. I really enjoyed this. Original storyline, too. You don't have the Skyfall game. 
Skyfall game. Well, if you play 007 Legends, there's a Skyfall mission, but you can't get it anymore. I did play it on PS3. I never played it on uh, Xbox 360 because it's not on the store anymore. You can't get it. So if you're lucky enough to at least experience the Skyfall missions, great. <clears throat> and this is, this is nothing new. All right. Ooh, I'm about to drop my phone. <laughs> okay, so what, what I'm going to do now is clean up all this, and we're going to set up another collection recorder right away, okay? We're like half an hour already into the live stream, but uh, I'm going to edit it on YouTube, cut it up, make a brand new video, okay? And then upload it, like, uh, like post it separately. So when you see this video on YouTube, it's going to be separate. Like, this is going to be its own separate video, but uh, I'm actually recording. This is my second video today. These guys are watching me live, recording these videos. And uh, yeah, let's go back to back. I think it's Bloodstone DLC where you have the Skyfall mission. Oh, really? I have no idea, man. No clue. Hey, there it is. Wait, didn't say anything. What do you do? Right here. It says here, see? Skyfall. Instructions to unlock the free Skyfall missions included inside, but you can't get them anymore. If you try to download it, it's not there. Anyone watch Lost in Translation? Okay, I'm, I'm going to switch up the video for a little bit. All right. So we just do it again, I guess. <laughs> 